Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail, and I'm finally back! I'm going to do some clusters today, and um, while I get busy on them after I show you what I'm doing, I'm just going to work on them, and I'm going to tell you everything that's been going on uh, since I left for Wisconsin at the end of June. So... I'm back, and I've got lots of stuff planned, and so thanks for being with me. I hope you'll you'll be glad I, I'm back, and that you'll you'll join me. Um, okay, so right before I left for Wisconsin, I saw a video, and I don't remember who did it because I went back and looked at my history, and they, it only goes back three months, and it was it was the end of June. But I saw someone make a cluster like this. He used book pages and um, wind around uh, pearl cotton like this and then put a whatever, a button or whatever on it. And I made a couple of them and I left them on my desk for when I would get back. Um... So I've been kind of starting to play with that, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And I really wish I could remember who did it. Um, I honestly thought I'd be able to look it up, but it was too long ago. So I apologize to whoever I saw do this. I I really feel bad that I didn't write it down. But when you're getting ready to leave and go on... Uh, trip and things like that 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 can happen so I'm gonna show you I've got a bunch of them made I'm gonna be decorating but I'm gonna show you how I how I made um, the backgrounds and then I'll just start decorating some of them so I my uh, I hope the lighting is okay it's it's not my usual lighting um, we're painting in the house and my husband took my my light away um, so what I do is I take a book page and I rip off the part that's just white and get rid of that because I don't want a lot of white edges and depending on, on the size I want to make I, I might rip it in half like these are. And then what you basically do is you just kind of fold it over like this. Now you can fold three folds or four folds. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to do. Um, kind of do it at an angle so that you get some parts sticking out. This one is ripping a little bit. I'll put a little piece of tape on the back because it'll be okay once it's in the, once it is the, um, the, um, the cluster it'll be fine okay okay I'll just do a couple more uh, first step get that white stuff off now I came back from Wisconsin I had a wonderful summer it was really nice went too fast I was gone only I was gone for two months a little over two months and um, the um, I'm gonna rip this in half too um, and the uh, it, it just it was it was a nice summer but it was also kind of weird because we were at our campground and the people who lived next door to us, for 15 years died of COVID because they re they didn't get the shot and um, they ended up getting COVID and dying 
and so we had a memorial for them and it's always kind of weird and kind of sad and strange that um you know we've been going there up to this campground we were their neighbors for so long and their son and daughter-in-law came a couple times during the summer to the camper and we've known them since before they were married um we I was at her their wedding her wedding shower and you know the kids were when the kids were born and all of that so it's been it was kind of bittersweet it was a little bit half half awful and half wonderful <laughs> you know and if you want a skinnier one you can always fold it again fold another fold in there and sometimes I do that And it doesn't really matter that much how you fold them. It just matters that you do fold them. Um, so I was able to get together with my sisters. In fact, the sister from Tennessee was even up for a while, and we all got together for our Sister's Day, which we don't get to do as often anymore. Um... There's four four girls in the family, and it was it was really nice to be able to spend time with my sisters. This one I think I'm gonna do into four because it's kind of big, wide. You can also rip part of it off, you know. But um, I spent time with them. I got to see some friends. Uh, I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do because it just, it just goes too fast. Um, we did get to go, the, it was our 50th wedding anniversary and we decided that we, instead of a party, we were going to take people out to eat individually. So we were able to do that for a few friends and relatives, but we didn't even get everybody for that. It's going to take us a, another year probably to finish doing that. But um, it, it, that's really nice. It, it's an idea that some friends of ours did. And they um, took people out individually like that. Well, when you have a big party, you maybe see people when they come in and and then they go talk and have fun, and, and you're not seeing very many people because there's always more people coming in. So we decided that was a great idea, and that's what we decided to do. And we're, you know, like I said, we didn't get everybody in, but um, we certainly had fun with the ones that we did get out and i reconnected with a friend of mine uh, from college she was my best friend in college i was in her wedding she was in my wedding um and um we were just you know best friends we we really did a lot together i'm gonna pull this a little different and um, I really missed her, and we had kind of lost touch, and probably my fault. But we were both teachers, and anyway, we got back together, and we took her and her significant other out to eat. And it was so much fun, and I'm so glad that we reconnected. Um, I'm going to stop reminiscing now for a minute, and I'm going to talk about it about what the next step is the way you um, you need to distress the edges that are going to show so here it's this middle part I've got that bend um, let's see how did I do that okay I got a bend right here. I'm gonna do that. My edge. And you just kind of try wherever you is going to be exposed. That's where you what you want to 
to distress. So I'll do a bunch of these. I'm going to rip a little bit more of that off. Okay. Um, but anyway, we, we took out people. I went to see my godmother. I haven't seen her for years. Um, and she's in her 90s, so that was so nice. I was so glad I was able to go see her. And um, just, you know, kind of having a nice, a nice time with the people that we were able to see. Um, didn't get to see everybody. Uh, went on a pontoon ride and out to lunch with some friends. My wife to, um, started out actually with knitting and then we were beaters together. Uh, and we, we still Zoom even though I live down here, I still get to connect with them. Yay, some of them watch this. So, hello, Pam. Hello, <laughs> uh, Nancy. Um, I think they're the only ones who watch my channel. But anyway, it's, it's just really um, been... It, it just really was... It was a wonderful summer. And I'm doing a course... Um, it's an art therapy, basically, course with Embodied Studios. And so I I uh, have a Zoom every couple of weeks. And I'm working on, on being more, um, you know, getting rid of the, the kind of the childhood trauma type things that kind of keep their hold on you. Um, into adulthood and I've done lots of therapy uh, which was really good but this is like a um, an art therapy you 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 do drawings and you paint and you do different things and that um, helps this stuff come out so that you can deal with it and it's different than just talking about it you know when you get the it, you just kind of go with the gut and it's just been a wonderful experience but that also has has taken time away from my other things that I do um, my crafts and things um, so I, I did a lot of that this summer now um, we we decided that next year we're going to sell our camper and we're still going to go up to Wisconsin but we're not going to go up there and live in a camper um you know we're getting older and it's just getting to be a little bit too much um even though we have a good mattress it's still a mattress that's on a board <laughs> and um it's just really, you know, we just don't really want to do it anymore. I guess that's it. And, it, and it, you know, it changed so much with our friends dying and all the fun times we had. And, you know, it's just not going to be the same anyway. Um, and so we decided that before we left and we thought, well, we'll we'll sell it next year. We'll go up there and we'll live, we'll, you know, make sure everything's working and and that type of thing, and and then we'll um, we'll end up selling it. And we have some friends who have a mobile home that we can stay in if we want to. Um, and they they keep offering, so that that's great. All right, now the next step is that you're gonna put glue on these to hold them together. So depending how many times you um, fold it, that's how many times you have to glue. You know, this this one's only twice. And, um, nope, I missed this button here. Okay. And then you just sort of pile them up. So you're doing kind of a mass make here. Um...
you don't have to get everything as long as you have them you know stuck together um anyway uh so that's going to be a big change and um we're looking at at where we live down here too because we got home and holy mackerel we had a hurricane i live in florida and luckily we live a little north of where the worst of it was but we certainly um got hit and uh every all of our neighbors have damage we live in manufactured housing it's a double wide mobile home and all of our neighbors had damage we did not so we were really lucky everything i mean and i know my husband tries to make sure everything's secure and all of that before we leave so you know that it isn't all luck it's partly preparation but we still were pretty lucky that we really didn't get a lot any damage to our house but it's making us rethink about i i feel very vulnerable in in a manufactured home it's not something that, um, that, you know, you, you always have to evacuate if there's a, a hurricane because they're just not built, uh, at least the older ones, are not built to withstand any, any hurricane-type things. Now, my husband just came home and said, I'm home, and he won't even think about that. I might be making a video, so we'll see what happens. Um, anyway... I am going to now start decorating these and I'm taking it much of a step further than a button and winding the thread. I'm just going to do something like this. I've got um, some ephemera picked out and I already pre-distressed uh, um, it. I have fabrics and laces um, and I'm going to just be using those. I, I pulled out just a number of different things and um, and I'm going to um, use that. I think I might need to use my uh, my Fabri-Tac. So while our neighbors are cleaning up all the mess and they have ripped off or ripped over um, you know like siding and their lanai's and things like that we we don't have any of that so very very lucky and i rich i'm making a video um i pulled a couple and got them ready so i could kind of show you what i'm doing and then i'm just going to keep going um put that on there uh, you can put any type of, I just have a couple butterflies here, but I have lots of other things I'm going to be putting on, any type of, of decoration on it. Um, i got a word here. I'm going to put that on. So you can decorate them any way you want. And they're really, you know, they're really kind of cute. You could also do some so they could be put like on the top of a page. Um just keep decorating so anyway now we're doing all the discussing and what are we gonna do and where are we gonna stay and or what are we gonna you know we're what are we thinking and we are older we're in our 70s so um you know we have time left but we don't know how much and you know so then you have to take that into consideration I thought this would be cute in a Christmas one um, I have some bigger ones and um, on these I put a bigger piece of stuff Um, I had made some of these. This is napkin decoupage on cardstock and cut out to make it look kind of like a full stamp. 
So I can use some of those. And just add a little bit of fabric and lace under it to, to make it to make it look good. Let's see, what did I have on that one? There's a piece of fabric. So wonderful summer. Um missing my family up there. Um, I didn't even get to see one of my sisters as much because she got COVID right, right at the time that we got there. So I couldn't even see her. And first her husband had it and then later she, now she has it, but her husband had it. And so we just had, um, a little bit less time together, but we still saw many, many friends and had a great time. And then coming home to a, to a hurricane was not fun. And so my husband and I are painting, painting woodwork and different things that we should have done five years ago when we painted the rest of the um, the uh, walls and everything or seven years ago maybe um so we're we're doing that and i'm painting the insides of the cupboards there's another one of these napkins on actually it's on paper stick off I don't know this looks like a, I, I don't have that many words cut out I might have to go back and add some later but I do a lot of nature type things um, let's see Let that one hang off. That's a nice fray there. And put a little lace. Maybe a little of this. So I'm glad to be back. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of me. Um, I do need to tell you what else I'm doing these days, and that is um, I'm doing an October Daily with Pink Odd Bird and Friends. And my days for doing the videos are October 11th and 26th, so I'll be putting up those videos and I'm also going to be um, I've, I'm posting on Instagram and things I'm putting I'm putting um, my everyday uh, I post what I do every day and I'll be showing some of, of that too let's see what do I want here Yeah. Okay. So I'm um, in a couple of days. I'll be posting my mine for September 11th. Mm, that's a little small for that one. Don't think about it too much when, when you're doing stuff like this because they all turn out and you just look at what am I going to use when you're actually making it. Those look good on belly bands. They look good on on side pockets, on, on regular pockets. Um, 
so you just go ahead and you just do whatever and you will find a use for them at least I do um, this was also a napkin it has a little cat on it I'm gonna make some more of these I don't have that many left and I've been saving pictures these I'm and these were made from napkins um, I've been saving pictures that I can make them look like stamps. So like, I guess faux stamps. Okay. Let's see how that one. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, let's see. I got glue sticking. Things are sticking to my hands. And um, anyway, anyway, that's what's going on, and. I hope you'll you'll try making some of these because it goes really fast and it's fun and they're they're different they're different than what I've made in the past I always like trying new things so um, I'm gonna kind of keep going here and but I'm gonna let you go and I will see you in a couple of days when I do my next video for the October Daily. It's a story. It's really fun. I'll show you my story up until up until the that day by putting uh, by showing you my um, Halloween journal. Uh, let's see. Uh, A cigarette card type thing. So, anyway, thanks for being here. And I, I'll be seeing you a lot more coming up. I've got great plans for things to do. I have a whole list that I came up with over the summer of what I can do for, um, for different... Uh, things and I'm going to try making a different kind of journal that I've been inspired to um, to do by Catherine Brown who's on YouTube and does takes an old book and makes a journal out of out of it and I found some wonderful books when I was up in Wisconsin and that's another thing that I'm planning to do so I will let you go. Thanks for being here. This is Friendly Quail saying, oh, I'm so glad to be back. And thank you for joining me. And hope to see you soon in my next video. So here it goes. Bye.